Hi everybody and welcome to accounting. I hope you're finding your way around okay, but I just wanted to take a few minutes and um, answer some of the most common questions I'm getting and um, make sure there's stuff you didn't miss in the in the chaos of the first week. So the first thing I have up is the syllabus and um, uh, a couple of things. It's, it doesn't matter to me whether you want to use the ebook or the hardback, but hopefully you have some book by now. Um, we sell both in the um, in the bookstore or you can purchase them directly through Pearson. If you buy just the access code that comes with the e-text or you can buy um, a hard copy of that with the access code. If, you, if you're if you buying through Pearson you'll see an option to purchase it without the e-text and unless you have a used copy of the book or you're renting a copy I would not recommend that because you do need some form of the book. Um, also email is uh, the best way to get a hold of me so there's my email and there's all the exciting things we'll be learning and um, this this first outcome here the impact on all business functions is very important because accounting is not just for accountants it's all all areas of the business and uh, use this and all decisions are made based on this data so it really is important and I'm, I'm hoping that by the end of the semester you'll see that and you'll understand why you have to take accounting even if you don't want to be an accountant um, your grade is just exams, so you'll see homework and practice problems in there. Those are for you, so they're not part of your grade, but they are necessary. This is where the learning takes place. You'll not be able to succeed in this course without spending a lot of time on those problems. So um, uh, they don't have hard due dates. It's a little bit flexible in there with the schedule, but they're not optional. You you really cannot, um, you won't be able to pass the exams in, unless you spend a good bit of time practicing these. The three exams are um, open book and open note. Each of those are on about four chapters and those have to be taken in person at the testing center. Um, the final exam is at the end. It is cumulative. It's 50 multiple choice. It's um, you, uh, it's not open book, but you are allowed to bring five pages of notes, five sheets of notes, which comes out to about one page per chapter. So, um, uh, and that is 40% of your grade. So, um, you know, you really can't afford to blow off any of the exams um, if you want to succeed in here. And then we have our other um, policies and that kind of stuff. So, um, take a look at those. And there's the the topics that we're covering. Um, I have a schedule posted for you here. Um, uh, try to stick as closely as you can to this schedule. So right now you should be done with chapter one and starting to work on t chapter two. Chapter two and three are kind of a lot of work for most people so I have about a week and a half for each of those. But give yourself time. Um, it takes a lot of practice on, on these things. And then most people um, after they get past this one find the material a little bit easier. So um, don't don't panic at chapter three and think it's going to keep getting worse. It, it, it will get a little bit better. But um, stick as closely as you can to the schedule, but these exam dates are hard and fast. There's, there's no flexibility there. The, so when I say the seventh, that is the last possible day to take that exam, but it will be there for at least a week. Um, so you need to get it done during that week. And then um, some of the other common questions that I get in here, uh, Let's see. Um, uh, let's see. You should already be in my lab. Um, you have to come to campus for the uh, for the exams, for the three exams and the final. The only hard de deadlines are the exams, but do try to stick to that schedule. Um, if you fall behind a little bit, it's not that bad. If you get if you're trying to cram in three or four chapters worth of material right before the exam, you're not going to do that well. So. Um, uh, make sure you give yourself time, don't procrastinate, try to stick to that schedule. Um, let's see, you can sort of work at your own pace, but again, um, uh, don't try to cram in too much at the end. You can assume that this is going to take you more time than a face-to-face -face class. It's, it's very flexible, you can do it when you have the time, but you can expect to spend a lot of time. You cannot learn accounting by watching a couple videos you you really need to practice it that's the only way to learn it and it and it and it'll take a lot of practice so make sure you um you budget that in your time you can expect to spend um at least about at least 9 hours a week on this if you're going to be traveling during an exam week make sure you take the exam before you go not after and again email is probably the best way to contact me um if you want to do well in this course 
take responsibility. Um, you have to be self-disciplined. You have to be motivated. You have to use the tools that are here. We have all this stuff out here to help you, but it's up to you to do it. So um, I can't do that part for you. Do not procrastinate. Um, this, the flexibility is a, is a two-edged sword there. On the one hand, it's, it's great and flexible, but if you're a procrastinator, um, you need to be aware of that and, uh, and really force yourself to stick to that. Have a backup plan, um, practice, 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 and check the announcements in your email regularly. This workflow here is what I recommend for people. It, it's a lot of work, but it's, it, it works. Um, and I have lots of examples of, of where this works. So read the chapter first, watch the videos I have posted for you. You're going to get more out of the videos if you've read the chapter first, um, so, so make sure you do that. Then work the practice problems. Again, they're not part of your grade, but they are, um, this is how you learn. So in the videos, in these videos that I have posted for you, I'm essentially working these practice problems. So you can watch the video and then try it. Or you can work the problems while you're watching the video and work along with me if you want to. Then I have more. I have additional practice problems. These are going to be more in depth. These are going to be longer problems. These are going to be different variations on the same problems. And so you're going to have um, a variety in there. And then the practice quiz is multiple choice because on the exams you're going to see both problems and multiple choice, so I wanted to make sure you had practice with both of them. Again, they're not part of your grade, but this is really where, um, where all the work is done. If you do these, if you do the practice problems, the practice quiz, and the additional, when you get to the exam, there will be nothing you have not seen before. There will be nothing you haven't done already before. If you want more practice, there's the study plan, and I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, it's it's optional again, but it's it's lots of practice, and some of us need more practice than others. Some people get it really quickly. Some people need a little bit more. And then the other thing I really recommend here is once you've done this, while this chapter is still fresh in your mind, make yourself a one-page cheat sheet for this. And it's going to be a little. What goes on is going to be a little bit different for everyone, but it's going to be what you had trouble remembering or what you struggled with or what you need to say in a slightly different way so that you can remember it. And then if you have that, then three months from now when you're trying to remember what you did in chapter two, you've got this handy dandy cheat sheet. It's going to jog your memory. It's going to refresh your memory a lot quicker and it's going to save you a lot of time and make sure you're much better prepared for the final exam. So. It seems like a lot of work right now, but it's going to save you a lot of heartache in the end if you can follow this. So that's what I'm recommending there. Now let's let's um, kind of go back to our Pearson course here. Whoops, where I went. Okay, so here's us, and yours should look. Uh, something like this when you come in. Here is the, um, um, so here's announcements that I'm posting and the, these announcements get emailed to you as well. Uh, the start here is what I just went through. So the orientation, the syllabus, and the schedule. There's some technical stuff. These are some videos that um, um, Pearson puts out about uh, getting the most out of my lab, which I think they're very short, but they're very helpful. So take a look at those. And the video that I'm recording right now, I'll put right up here. These are the video lectures. These are my videos that I've made. And you can see I've got two or three for each chapter. I tried not to make them too long, but they always end up getting a little bit longer than I wanted. But um, these are this is essentially what I would be doing in class. So it's a little bit of lecture. It's a lot of working problems. And it's just a screen capture of me solving problems. Um, and it's the practice problems that you have there. And so. Uh, it's kind of the next best thing to be in class. It's very similar to what exactly what I'd be covering if I was in class. And so these are all just links to YouTube videos. So you can um, if you you can close caption them if you want to do that or if you want to um, you know see the words without uh, if you're trying to you know keep it quiet or something or if you want to watch it on the one hand while you're working the problems on another screen. So these are all here for you. Um, the assignments. So here's your um, orientation quiz, practice problems, additional practice problems in the quiz. So for each chapter, two sets of practice problems and uh, a multiple choice quiz. And then you'll, you'll see the test a little bit later. Those aren't visible now. I think they come visible about 10 days before. 
the study plan. Oh, wait, before we go on, let me when we're in the assignments, let me let's say we're in um, chapter three, okay? And we're doing this and I've got this problem here. I'm just pulling up something at random. But when you're in the problem, there's a couple things in here that are super handy. If you go over here to the question help over here on the upper right, um, first of all, I just gotta say, make sure you read the question carefully. Sometimes the information you need is in these little things that you have to open up. Sometimes it's right here in this part of the problem. Sometimes it's here. So make sure you read the whole problem. If you go over here to question help, help me solve this is probably the online student's best friend. It'll take a version of this problem. It'll take basically the exact same problem but with different numbers. It'll walk you through it step by step and it'll explain how they calculated every single thing in there. And so once you've gone through that, then they'll close it out. You'll go back to this problem and work the problem using what you just learned in that one. Um, demo docs are sort of little video things where they work through a problem. Here's a video related to that. P besides my videos, Pearson has a ton of videos on here. And so this one can pop you through that topic. If you click on eText, that'll take you right to the section of the eText that this is talking about. And then Ask My Instructor is the other great idea here. Um, everybody has different versions of the same problem. So if you email me and say, I'm on number two, I don't know which, and if I pull up number two, I'm going to be seeing something different than you are. If you had asked my instructor, then I can see exactly what you're seeing. And so you can just add some comments with your with your quiz. So those are in there. Not every problem has a video, but um, uh, most of them have helped me solve this and ask my instructor. That should be on all of them. So those are super helpful tools for you. Uh, in addition, oops, uh, yeah, I don't want that. In addition, the study plan is here. So the study plan is a basically every problem that Pearson has. I always go over here to all chapters. And so let's say I'm working on chapter three. Here's all the different sections of chapter three. And so you can do them all if you want, or you can say, okay, I'm okay with this and this and this. It's when I get down here to the trial balance that I get lost, for example. So I can click on that, and then here's all the problems related to the trial balance. And so throughout the chapter, you can see the try it problems, and so that's going to be right here. Um, you've got some quick check things in there, and then these are the problems in the back of the book. So you can do um, one of these, you can do all of these, you can do as little as much as you want. So if you just need practice on one thing, go to the study plan, you can do it as many times as you want. The results will be your grade, here's your e-text, and so you just click over here, and that will open the e-text for you. Um, oh yeah, I shouldn't. I probably shouldn't be in Firefox. I think it uh, likes uh, Chrome better, but um, but basically this brings up it's everything that's in the paper version of the text, and it's a lot lighter to carry around. And you um, you can search things. Uh, you can search for words. You can search for definitions. But basically everything that's in the paper copy is in the e-text. Um, I think Pearson also, well, yeah, they, they have an app as well, so you can um, read their books through the app if you want to. And, um, well, I'm not going to wait for that to come up, but it'll come up eventually. The other thing I wanted to show you here is you can go, get to them through multimedia or chapter resources. But if I go to chapter resource and I'm in three, um, if you go down here to this multimedia library, let's say I just I want to select them all. So there's a ton of tools out here. It's almost too much, but take a look around and see what works for you, see what's helpful. Some people might love flashcards, some people might not find that helpful at all. Um, this is a PowerPoint that the textbook puts out. It's really long, but you can use that if you want. Um, the demo docs are nice. They kind of walk you through something. Also, here's a bunch of videos that they have. So sometimes on just one particular topic, on different, we saw six parts of this chapter, so they have six little videos there. And then you've, there, this is them working out the try it problems, so go ahead and try those. So there's a ton of help here, but it's, it's up to you to work it. And like I said, you don't have to, these are the solutions to the try it problems in the chapters, if you want to look at those. Um, but yeah, you don't have to watch all these videos, but if you just want to say, I am totally lost on unearned revenue, then watch that one in addition to mine, and, and hopefully one of them will click. Ah, there's there's your textbook, and so that's that's the whole thing. 
page by page and so uh, you can do it that way but you can um, search for a certain thing and, and that makes it a little bit nicer and so I think that's the basics of it here um, uh, there's so many tools on here so make sure you use them poke around play around a little bit see what's in here see what works for you and what helps you and um, let me know if you have any questions